This is WGAL News 8's Football Friday. Hello and welcome to Football Friday. I'm Mike Hofstetler. The News 8 sports team covered a dozen games tonight, including a number of upsets. We kick things off with our Wendy's Game of the Week. Here's Pat Princeby with a whopper from the mid Penn Commonwealth. It's always a special evening when we have our Wendy's Football Friday Game of the Week, and it's special for more than one reason here at Carlisle. This is Alumni Cheerleader Night. WGAL's own Caitlin Smith and her sister Kelly coming back to cheer for the green and white. Looks like they still have it too, folks. But would their thundering herd still have it in the game against Harrisburg? Let's check it out. Harrisburg coach Cal Everett returning to the Cougars sideline after serving a three-week suspension. And the Cougars welcomed him back in a big way. Second quarter, Kyle Williams Jr. going in untouched from the eight. Harrisburg leads 30 to nothing at the half. Third quarter, Carlisle's first possession. Fourth down at the Harrisburg 11. The pass picked off by Amir Jones to stop the thundering herd threat. Carlisle will come right back down the field though on their next try. And this time, Louis Shank on the quarterback keeper, dancing through the defenders and going 23 yards, getting the herd on the board. They trail 30 to seven. Fourth quarter now, the coup de grace from the Cougars comes from Mr. Williams who bursts up field 48-yard touchdown run. Harrisburg goes on to win their seventh in a row in this series, 44-15. to I'm Pat Principe for Football Friday. Thank you, Prince. Most of the teams kicking off division play tonight, and that included one of the best rivalries in the LL League, Lancaster Catholic and Columbia. Columbia won the rivalry the past two years, the Crusaders the four before that. Tied at six at halftime, Catholic comes out with a short toss to Levon Parker, who reverses his field, comes all the way back across, and then motors down the sidelines. Parker scores, putting the Crusaders in front. A little bit later, Catholic facing a fourth down. Cranford goes across the middle to the big fella, Hudson Hess, who catches it and then rolls in. Crusaders in front 19 to six. The Tide trying to answer, but the pass picked off by Josh Acker. Catholic blanks Columbia in the second half, goes on to win 26-6 to improve to 4-0. We're just getting rolling here when we return the big matchup in the York Adams Division I. But first, tonight's lottery number.